Awesome Chat is brought to you by Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Hey guys, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the tour. I'm in the East Center at Linden Point in Hermitage, PA. Surround some really, really cool crystals and rocks. Look at this stuff here. We, I hope you got on the video version this week uh, because we got a lot of stuff to look at here in the background. So it's pretty cool. Like that tree, that is cool. <laughs> it is awesome. Um, but this is your awesome chat. Check us out at awesomecast.net. Subscribe to us on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, video versions on the Facebook and the YouTube page for Awesome Cast. And you can support us at patreon.com slash awesome cast as well we have with me uh mark rossi with uh earthbound crystals and you're here at, at the at the east center can you tell me a little bit about your business basically i am a online retail sales um, of crystals minerals and fossils and different um things that uh people can do with them like a lot of different uh shops online make jewelry with them so i do as well as like the large size pieces um as well as these small uh, more intricate style stuff that people do jewelry with. Tell me a little bit, like, how did you come across uh, the the center here to do this? <laughs> That's actually a funny story. I started um, this whole kind of experience. I took a summer uh, web design class that was actually hosted um, at the uh, East Center that I didn't even know this place existed. Um, and that's kind of how I kind of started to get exposed to it. But I took the class knowing that I was going to be involved in an entrepreneurship class um, that following year for my senior year in high school. And it just kind of led into one another. And then directly after I graduated from that program, I ended up getting accepted here. That's, a, that's amazing. So like we, we're talking about a lot of that because I know I wish this was an opportunity because I'm, I went to Greenville here in the region and, uh, and there was a lot of great stuff there, but nothing that really kind of encouraged this kind of entrepreneurship. Um, you know, can you talk about kind of the decision and go that direction versus like the traditional college and, and, and all that kind of stuff that seems to be kind of pressed on you in high school? Um, yeah, especially, um, my high school for the majority of it, it was very much pushed to just, you know, do the traditional path of going to college and getting a degree, getting a job, um, and so forth, which is obviously a great, um, path to go. But for me, I'm more of a creative person. I'm not, um, the typical corporate type person. Um, so, <laughs> uh, that kind of didn't really appeal as much to me as doing something like this. Mm -hmm. Um, and then being, um, exposed to the Entrepreneurship Academy and the eCenter here has just totally been a game changer because they, um, as well as support, you know, higher education in those forms, it's more along the creative side of actually creating your business and doing what you want to do. Um, so that has kind of just been the deciding factor between that because um, I actually I had a whole two-week college experience uh, before I dropped out to pursue this full-time because I just looked at it as college isn't going anywhere. Um, but I only have this opportunity for a limited amount of time. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and I understand you you kind of uh, hit a pretty big milestone recently too, right? Yeah. yeah. Tell us about that. Um, well, my very original um, first goal for this uh, was for the first year to do around 20000 in sales um, for doing it basically kind of full time, but it would be around the same time that I would invest into the job that I had previously. Um, and I far surpassed that. Um, I ended this year with uh, just under 185,000 in revenue. Wow. So, That's amazing. Yeah. Um, so, so tell me a little bit about like, like, you know, how are you selling it? You know, what's, what's kind of makes your company a little different than other things you see out there? Um, I do a lot of um, social media um, promotions through that. Uh, my main form is through Instagram, um, as well as another app that's called Periscope, which is like a live um, broadcasting uh, platform. And I do a lot of um, live shows and sales through that. That's awesome. So, so this is something that I've heard um, somebody say, somebody should do this is like kind of a QVC through these kind of platforms. Yeah. Is that kind of what you're doing? Similar. Very similar. Awesome. And so you're, so you're really able to kind of tap into like, you know, the, the, the people interested in this stuff, right? Yes. So um, let's talk a little bit about that, that social uh, aspect of it. Like, is this a, a community you were already kind of tapped into going into this? Or were you kind of discovering that as you go along? 
Um, I was kind of tapped into the very tip of it. Mm -hmm. um, I had no idea how large um, the community for um, like crystal and minerals and the collectors for it. And it ties directly then into the um, very high end jewelry design um, businesses as well. So there it's just a absolutely huge market online that I really wasn't even aware of existed until i started working in it full time so you really kind of you, you started finding it and, and just saying hey this is something i can tap into mm -hmm. that's awesome yeah. that's awesome what's kind of the biggest surprise uh from this whole entrepreneurship experience um <laughs> pretty much just being surrounded by other people um that have the same way of thinking um was very surprising to me because through school you know being more of a free thinker they don't really understand that they're just like you know go step one step two and so on um, but with this there's so many other paths and so many options that you can go it's just totally mind-blowing mm -hmm. so are, what are your kind of what's what's coming up for you what are your kind of plans for world domination in this space <laughs> um, that you're allowed to tell me <laughs> the, not the super secret plans um, well, I guess one of the really exciting things, um, for me at least is, uh, I leave February 6th, I believe, um, I fly out to Arizona, um, and I'm going to the world's biggest gem show. Um, so that will be a lot of fun. Um, pretty much everybody that works in this space is going to be there. So it's going to be an amazing networking opportunity as well. That's great. And, uh, I think, I think I heard you're, you're already doing a little bit of travel around this too, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, last year, I went to Denver, Maryland, and multiple other states um, to meet up with different suppliers and people that I work with. Nice. So, of course, Startup Weekend was here, the first one here in the region, and you were a part of it, too. Can you tell us a little bit about your experience there? Um, yeah, it was definitely, since it was my first Startup Weekend, 100% um, different from what I anticipated it being going into it. Um, but it was an amazing experience and can't wait to be part of more of them, hopefully more in our region in the future. Mm -hmm. um, but... Yeah, just again, being surrounded by so many people that actually have an interest in entrepreneurship and furthering um, their knowledge within doing so is just incredible. Mm -hmm. And you have a lot of people actually come up from Pittsburgh. Yes. Uh, did you, did you, um, did there seem to be a different vibe from that? Did you learn like a lot of different things from the people that may have been around for that? Yeah, there was um, people really from all over that uh, came to participate. And it was definitely interesting because, I mean, our area is very, small rural area there's not really that much going on and then to interact with people on that level from pittsburgh where it's a lot of technology and a lot of um, mm -hmm. business in that aspect definitely um, changes your perspective on the way of going forward with things that's good it's good to spread out and stuff like that what, what was your biggest takeaway from the weekend uh just meeting people um, i met a bunch of people that i still have um, ongoing conversations with all the time now um, and it's just great to be able to have those people to reach out to run things past um, and so on. Cool. Uh, so where can people find you online and, and apparently on all these social medias? <laughs> <laughs> um, pretty much just search the name Earthbound Crystals. Um, it's earthboundcrystals.com and then it's just the at sign Earthbound Crystals on Instagram um, and same with Periscope. There you go. Go follow them. Um, it, it's always really interesting to see how people are using, especially the streaming stuff with the Periscopes and the Facebook Lives and everything like that. Are you looking at other platforms like Facebook Live? Um, I have, but for the way that I do it, um, the comment response time is Just very important very well. and it's a lot faster with the Paris. That's, that's a good takeaway. That's not something yeah. I haven't, I haven't run into yet, uh, in, in, in our stuff when we've been playing with those, those streaming texts. So awesome. Thank you so much for joining us to go yeah. check him out. Of course, check out all the interviews that we're doing here from the, from the E center up here in Carmenish PA. And over the last year and a half that we've been doing this thing, everything from, uh, startup companies and tech to video game people to, to, to podcasters to all kinds of fun stuff over at awesomecast.net support the show subscribe the show um, patreon.com slash awesomecast thank you to my awesome guest you've been our awesome audience <laughs> have an awesome week this show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network find out more at sorgatronmedia.com